this scripture so y'all pray for me. Go with me to Genesis, amen, um, the 26th chapter. Genesis, the 26th chapter. 26th chapter, I just have um, one verse. If you go with me to 26th chapter and the 12th verse. 26th chapter and the 12th verse, amen, amen. Right? Uh, say what God that says the Lord, amen, and I will be out of your way. Amen. 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 Genesis 26 chapter and 12 verse. Amen. I'm trying to keep my composure because I'm excited about this word. <laughs> amen. amen. If you take your sword, take your shield, you will lift it up and repeat. Amen. After me. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be in power. I will be in power. According to Acts 1 and 8. According to Acts 1 and 8. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be equipped. I will be equipped. According to Ephesians 6 and 10. According to Ephesians 6 and 10. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be transformed. I will be transformed. According to Romans 12 and 2. According to Romans 12 and 2. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be blessed. I will be blessed. According to Deuteronomy 28. According to Deuteronomy 28. Say, Lord, Lord, I believe. I believe this word. This word. I believe this word. I believe this word. I, this word. I just have one scripture on today. And the word of the Lord reads, Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And I told you, God just keeps dealing with me since the end of last year about blessing, blessing, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless the church. I'm going to bless my people. He's just telling, keep telling me about blessings. So this is what I need you to do. I, I need you to help me read this scripture. We're going to read it a couple of times, but I need you to help me read this scripture. Amen. And the word of the Lord reads, Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. Amen. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to do my favor. I need you to put your name there. I need you to put your name there. Do me a favor, and I need you to put your name there. Not Isaac, your name. My name, y'all call me Pastor Keith. My name is Raw. That's my name. That's what everybody, you go to Black in the hood, that's what everybody call me. I need you to put your name. I need you to put your name. Amen? Amen. And the word of the Lord reads as follows. And Donna sold in the land and received the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed her. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I need you to do me a favor, and I need you to take your last name. I need you to take your last name. I need it to be plural. I need you to make it plural. I need you to make it plural. Put your last name. So I'm going to say the kings. Amen. I need you to put your last name there. Do me a favor, put your last name there. Amen. And the Lord of the Lord reads as follows. Then the chicken sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed them. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, okay. Thank we got you. some marriage. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to still say kings, but amen. I want my wife's family to be blessed also. Oh, amen. Right. Yeah. I, I, I need my wife to have an opportunity to say greetings. No. I need her to have an opportunity to say greetings. Amen. Because I want her family to be blessed as well. Amen. amen. Will y'all hit me out one more time? And the word of the Lord reads as follows. And, and Sanders sold in that land and in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed them. Amen. You may keep them in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'm doing the I'm do best I can to deal with that one scripture. Work with it. All right. <laughs> yeah, one scripture. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's, it's just, it's, 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 it's been big. It's been big. I'm going to do the best I can to deal with this. There's one scripture. I thank God for each and every one of you who are here on um, today. If you would just give me a few big moments, amen, to give you um, some um, some information, and then we'll get to the inspiration. Just make sure that you have you something that you can write with, you can highlight with. Amen. I told you all oh, the, 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 the longest memory is no match 
against the shortest post. Mm. There's no, no magic, man. There ain't something to take some, oh, some good, some good notes and everything. Amen. 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 Um, um, a young man had a terrible falling out with a neighboring farm. Mm-hmm. One night, in the act of cruel vengeance, he crept through the neighboring fields. As he did so, he scattered seeds of a persistent, poisonous, and dangerous weed. Very soon the weed sprang up and no amount of effort would eradicate or destroy them. Years passed and eventually the young man fell in love with the farmer's daughter. He married her and as time passed, watch this, he inherited the farm. He later confessed that he was spending the rest of his life Mm -hmm. reaping what he had sown. And that one act of angry Mm -hmm. foolishness. Mm -hmm. The seed of deception he planted in the past eventually bloomed in the future. This man reaped where he sowed. This man reaped where he sowed in Galatians 6 and 7. Put it this way. Be not deceived. God is not mine. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. My pastor would always tell us as leaders, be careful how you build another man's house. You might have to live in it one day. <laughs> you might have to live in it one day. A, a poet once wrote, every moment we are sowing seeds that yield much good or bad. And each one is surely growing, cheering souls or making sad. These words reflect the universal truism. Every action or inaction has a natural, unavoidable consequence. Good or bad. Mm. So you better choose wisely. <laughs> you will never overcome the harvest of the bad decisions you sold until you are willing to admit it. Make sure we okay, I'm trying to leave me. I held out of my myself. <laughs> you will never overcome the harvest of the bad decisions you sold. Until you are willing to admit it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once you admit it, please hear me. Once you admit it, stop discussing. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> That's the hard part. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Once you admit it, stop discussing. Mm-hmm. I don't know about um, my, my brothers and my deeds in here, but I like to call that um, ringing up old stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once you admit it, stop mm-hmm. fighting about it. That is powerful. Right? <laughs> you need something to think about. Uh-huh. All right. well, okay, because I know y'all don't fight. I put it this way. Once you admit it, stop arguing it over. Oh, mm-hmm. Stop arguing over it. Uh-huh. Watch this. Uh-huh. Because once you admit it, you got to give God an opportunity to fix it. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and if, you, if, you keep, if you keep discussing it, if you keep fighting about it, if you keep arguing about it, you don't give God an opportunity to fix it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever considered that there are some things that happen in your life that a witch didn't cast? Mm-hmm. Wait. There, uh-huh. There's some things that happen in your life that a demon didn't do. There's some things that happened in your life that Satan didn't say, but could it be you did it to yourself? Uh, help me, oh God. You know what I gotta do? I gotta, can't, gotta, can't, gotta deal with the whole man now. Uh, you made the, the decision to do what you knew was wrong. You, you have to stop blaming people and situations for what you wanted to do, for, for what you wanted to say, and for where you wanted to go. Mm-hmm. When you leave the people who love you for the people who lusted after you, why get mad when you return and find out, find out love don't live there anymore? Why, why get mad? You you made the choice, you made the decision. You can't hurt the people who love you and then get mad when they refuse to support you. That's uh-huh. all right if I take off my glasses right yeah. around here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What our decisions have consequences. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Our decisions 
have a communion service. He was just getting us all excited about that scripture. And now he's like, honey, I'm, I'm getting down. I'm, I'm getting down. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Uh -huh. You are free to make whatever choice in your life you want, but you are not free from the consequences of those choices. Mm. Even in relationships, if you spend your time hoping someone will still suffer the consequences for what they did to your heart, then you are allowing them to hurt you a second time in your mind. God, help me in this place. It's amazing how some people can do better to the people who don't deserve it than to the people who do. Mm -hmm. And I don't care how bad you want to, but you cannot control another person's decisions. Amen. You cannot control another person's decisions. Please, even long ago, long ago, uh, the emperor of a faraway land was getting old, and he had no heir. He had no heir, and he decided to pick a successor from the youth of that nation. So, so, but one desire, one, but desire one that had wisdom and truth. He said, I want one of these young people, but I need somebody with wisdom and truth. He therefore devised a plan to pick the right one. And he decided he would give every child the seed. Mm -hmm. They were to plant the seed and return in four months with the plant that they grew. Mm -hmm. Everyone took their seed and went home. Among the youth was a poverty stricken young man. He excitedly took his seed home and showed it to his parents. Watch what the parents did. They helped him plant the seed. God, I'm trying to show you something. They're going to say, I don't have time for you. Get out of my face. Go on, watch TV. Listen to your music. Look at some YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. They helped him plant the seed and, and showed him how to take care of it. He, he watched the plant every day for a month, waiting for it to germinate. Mm -hmm. He waited for it to die so it could be in the grow. But the plant never poked his head out of the soil. And all the other candidates were bragging about how great their plants were doing. Even though he was discouraged, he kept taking care of the plant. God help me. I'm trying to build and show y'all something here. The four months were soon up, and it was time to show the plants to the emperor. The young man dreaded taking his barren pot before the emperor. But watch this. He felt compelled to go anyway. Mm -hmm. He went anyway. And upon his arrival, all the other young people had such beautiful plants. Watch this. They even made fun of him and ridiculed his empty vessel. Mm -hmm. And I need to pause for a moment right here to inform you a seed is not deceptive until you sow it. God help me. In this place, a seed is not deceptive until you sow it. In other words, there are some seeds people are planting that they should have kept them, that they should have kept to themselves. Huh? You should have kept it to yourself. Oh, I just had to say it. I just had. No, you didn't. You didn't have to say it. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to go there. You didn't have to break that up. It's not deceptive until you plant it. God help me. Sowing the deceptive seed has the potential to reveal how deceptive an individual can be. And, and the way you know you have value is when someone is willing to use their seed to deceive you. That's, that's how you know you got value. When somebody's willing to use their seed to deceive you. Watch this. The young man placed his empty pot in the last row and stood by. So I'm just going here. What we do? I'm just going to stay here to the back of the line because nobody's going to notice me. But he took it, he stood, and with his head bowed, he was ashamed. Didn't he? Anybody ever been in a situation where you were asked to do something and then you didn't think it worked out the way that you wanted it to work out and you were filled with shame because you are looking at everybody else? Y'all better yeah. talk to me yeah. in this place. you looking at everybody else and everybody else looked like they got it going on. Everybody else looked like they filled with the Holy Ghost. Everybody else looked like they saved and they glad. Everybody Else look like they damn just wonderful. Everybody else look like they got a fat pain. Oh, y'all don't to talk to me in this place. And you looking at everybody else and you are shy. But the way your situation has turned out, the young man was scared. Expecting the worst. Huh? But someone needs to know when you are expecting the worst, it's a prime opportunity for God to give you his best. Huh? Whenever you're expecting the worst, it's a prime opportunity for God to give you his best. The emperor smiled at the young man and said, you will be the next emperor. Y'all better hear me in this place. He smiled at the one who didn't have anything. He smiled at the one who bowed his head in shame. He said, you will be the next emperor. There was a great uproar from all the other youth with the beautiful plants. They planned. They wanted to know how. Can this individual with an empty pot, yeah, he, yeah. he don't have nothing. Yeah, yeah. He come from nothing. He don't seem like he about nothing. How can he be the next emperor? How can you choose this man over me? Watch this. The emperor explained that the seeds he had given them had been boiled and that it was impossible for them to germinate. The only one who had been honest was the young man in the empty pot. 
so you can do it. Y'all better help oh me in this place. He's empowered you with the faith to speak over your life. But he said, now I have to equip you with the resources and everything you need so you can do it. Because we know that faith without works is what? Yeah. Y'all better help me preach it. Y'all. It doesn't matter how little you start with. Uh-huh. What matters is what you do with it. Your harvest depends on what you sow. And if it's not born in your hands, you better put it in God's hands. Yeah. Destroy yourself with your words. Yeah. Don't destroy your 
Yeah. Yeah. Your words. Yes, Lord. I'm trying in this place. Don't miss your miracle because of your words. Don't block your blessing because of your words. Don't prolong your poverty because of your words. But open your mouth and speak well of yourself when nobody else will. In John 14, 13, Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, he said, this will I do so that the Father may be But the pain, the disappointment, and the frustration and the hurt we've been experiencing, watch this, is to bring glory to God. And if you can stay humble in the midst of your hurt, God said he's going to do whatever you have faith enough to ask him for in the name. This scripture right here is the scripture that started everything. Uh -huh. This scripture, this scripture I'm about to read right here is the scripture that God gave me this and had me chewing on this, chewing on this, chewing on this. Uh -huh. And I say 2020 has been such a blessed uh -huh. and wonderful year. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, but 2020 also brought some other stuff along with it oh, yeah. and caused me to scratch my head. And I had to go back and say, Lord, where was it? Because I know it was something that I said that you told me to see. You told me that the people were going to be blessed. You told me that the people were going to be prosperous. But God, the people have been going through and dealing with some stuff. And this is not making sense. Uh -huh. And I found it. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Mark the 10th chapter in the 29th verse. I, uh -huh. I found it. Uh -huh. I found it. Come on, come on. I found it. I found it. I realized, I realized what it was. Uh -huh. I, I discovered it. Uh -huh. It's not that he doesn't want to bless us. It's not that we're not going to be blessed. But watch what he says in Mark 10, 29. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, there is no man that have left house, brother, sister, or father, or mother, or wife, children, or lands. Watch this. He said, for my sake, or the gospel's sake. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. God help me. I, said, I knew he told me because I decided to sell out. I'm sold out. I don't know about you, but I'm sold out. I'm sorry to my mama and my daddy. I'm sorry to my brothers and my sisters. I'm sorry to my friends. But you got to understand, I'm sold out. Yes, I let go. I'm sold out. I didn't sell out for my sake. I sold out for the gospel's sake. But watch what he tell me because I sold out for the gospel's sake. He said, but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Yes. And he don't just stop that. He tell me how he gonna give me a hundredfold. He tell me he gonna give me a hundredfold in the houses. Yes. He tell me, hey, I know you may have lost a brother or sister, but you gonna come to church and you gonna thank yes. 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 uh -huh. He said the mothers and children. I got several mothers. Uh -huh. I got several fathers sitting here. Help me in this place. He say and lands. He say and lands. He say land. You better lift your hand and say I'm getting ready to enlarge my territory. I'm getting ready to enlarge my territory. Watch this, watch this! But that next, the next, the next word messes yeah. up. Uh, uh, this is the part uh, uh, where I was trying to figure out. Oh, oh, oh. God, how can you be blessing my house the way you blessing it? And it's going through what it's going through. Uh huh. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's the part I didn't understand. And I had to go back. Where did I start shouting? I didn't hear the final word. Oh my God! I started praying and laughing, talking out, and didn't hear the conclusion of the prophecy over my life.
That's in the Bible. It's written in red. Yeah, yeah. It's written in red. It's written in red. Glory to God. She said, this ain't going to come easy. The devil going to fight you for everything you work. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure it out. So you're telling me if I ain't going through, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. The reason some people can't be blessed is because they run from persecution when persecution is a part of the blessing. Whoa. 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 It makes you, when you read, sir, you got to go back and read your Bible. Yeah. And when you read your Bible, you'll find out that persecution is part of the blessing plan. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you deal with eyes, the persecution is part of the blessing plan. If you can deal with the persecution, God will open up the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get here because I only got a few more minutes. Let me get here. Let me deal with this 26 and this 12. So y'all won't say he ain't saying nothing about it. I got to say something about it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Genesis 26, the Bible says, Isaac sold in the land. Which it means he planted. Okay. Uh -huh. He sold in that man, which means he planted. The place you sow is the place you still expect to see grow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do me a favor. Would you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor? neighbor. You reap. Where you sow. Where you sow. Uh, you reap where you sow. You reap. That's my thought. I had given y'all my thought, but that's my thought today. You reap where you sow. The place you sow is the place you expect to see growth. Mm -hmm. When you sow, you create opportunity for God to grow what you sow. Mm 
again. However, to understand the reason God blessed Isaac the way he did, you got to go back to Genesis 26 and 1. Uh -huh. This is power. In Genesis 26 and 1, it states, now there was a famine in the land. Uh -huh. This is going to make this mess me up. Understand, when you look at the word famine, it means dry place. Uh -huh. God, I'm trying to help you. Uh, it means dry place. And the reason it means dry place is because it's an indication that there had been no rain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There had been no rain. Y'all remember that now? Dry place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Famine, dry place, no rain. Y'all stay with me there. Uh -huh. The reason God blessed Isaac the way he did was because even in the midst of the dry season of his life, watch this, he was still a giver. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, now I'm understanding now. Revelation coming. I'm understanding. He was still a giver. Watch this. Even in a famine, the faith of God gives you, allows you to live through what could have killed you. Yeah. Oh, even in a famine, huh? the faith of God gives you, allows you to live through what could have killed you. And this is for about five of you who know God is a right now God. God says, watch this, your bank account has never seen what it's about to do. Oh, God has never seen what God's about to do for you. So you know what to do right for you. Prosperity will draw closer to you as you draw 
closer to Christ uh, because you are a soul. Uh, God has created an avalanche uh, of more than enough uh, where you currently don't have enough. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I declare and decree uh, your due date uh, has been set. Uh, you are about to birth your gift. Uh, you are about to birth your business. Uh, you are about to birth your book. Uh, you are about to birth your ministry. Uh, you are about to birth your facility. Uh, So many times we sit around waiting on somebody to put something in my hand mm -hmm. when your million dollars already in your hand.
do the well, water pop up. The people of that land would come and claim and take the well. Did it go somewhere else? It did. Yes, sir. See, I'm, I'm trying to show you something, water. I'm, I'm trying to show you something. I'm trying to show you something. People go somewhere else and he did. Guess what pop up? Water. So the blessings kept following. Uh -huh. Yes! <laughs> yes! So I'm trying to say something. That's why you can't be afraid to do mm -hmm. what God has called you to do. Yes, yes. Because there's blessings that yes. are following you. Yes. Whoa! Oh, woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You will never discover the blessing. Mm -hmm. You'll never discover the blessing if you stop. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That was powerful right there. Yes, sir. You will never discover the blessing mm -hmm. if you stop. Yeah. Pastor, what do you mean? It's hard at first. Yeah. It's hard at first. Mm -hmm. But eventually, Somebody begins to see what you see. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Somebody begins to believe yeah. in what you believe in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God help me. And so now, instead of just having your two hands, now you got four hands. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. To the flow, the flow, God. Uh -huh. uh, they were blessed because of the flow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you is Isaac wasn't the only one blessed because of the flow. Uh -huh. But everyone who helped Isaac also. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to paint this picture. Uh -huh. I'm trying to paint this picture. Yes, uh -huh. Because you helped me with my dream. Yes, God going to send somebody to help you with your dream. That's right. Uh -huh. But this is the beauty of it. Not only is he going to send somebody to help me with your dream, but because you helped me with mine, I'm going to also help you with yours. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. What I'm telling you is, some of you say, well, Pastor, I ain't experienced that yet. What I'm telling you is you got to dig a little deep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on now. Come on. In order to get in 
everything you want from God, sometimes you got to you dig, dig a little deep. Deep. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. We, like, we like the shallows though. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about shallow. Y'all wanna know about shallow? I'm gonna tell you. This is the difference. This is the difference between people who are business minded and those of us who are not. Uh huh. Uh huh. People who are business minded dig deep. Uh -huh. mm. They launch out into the deep. People who are not like playing the shallow water. Mm. <laughs> they would not. They like, you know, they like to play in the shallow water. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because they don't want to get wet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They don't want to get uh, but people who are big, they don't mind going all the way in. They don't mind getting dirty. They, they don't, and that's the difference. And this season of your life is going to require you to dig deep. Yes. Let me explain something to you. And I explain, um, I tell my well, people online, they talk to what I am in, um, I pastor, I have the privilege to pastor probably, if not the most blessed church on this side uh, of heaven, it is one of them. Yes, that's my call. Amen. Yes. That's right. yes. So let me explain something to you. This ain't no prosperity message. Uh, uh, come on. Because if you've been connected to this church any other time, you know we blessed over here. Yeah. That's one of the blessings that I said. I ain't had to spend time saying, we're going to do a Bible study on tithe and offering. And I'm like, wait a moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, hey, that's the spirit that's in this church. Amen. That's the spirit in there. Uh, but this right here, this sermon God told me, said, it's about discovering your resources. Yeah. <laughs>
Your gift is designed to not be buried. Y'all don't disturb by the time. Yeah. It's all my gifts. It's not designed for your gift to be buried. But your gift is supposed to be reproduced. Yes. Okay, y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, mm-hmm. When I leave here, I'm not going to do it there. So pray for me. I pray for me. But when I leave here, sometimes I would be calling me to go by the store and get me a Mrs. Smith. Peace, Carla. That's something that I did. We calling it. We calling it. No, no, no. SWB's from my generation. SWB had this song, Week of the Knees. I've been Smith Street. Week of the Knees. Week of the Knees. Not me and Mrs. Jones. It's me and Mrs. Smith. So, I can go, I can stop by Walmart or Win Dixie, any one of them, and go in there and see Mrs. Smith now. Uh-huh. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Because her gift has been mass produced. Right. Yes. 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 We sit there and say, well, I know your gift, God wants to multiply yes. your gift. That's right. Mm. You know the beautiful thing about business is being able to have a business and then branch out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can see your gift yes. multiply. Yes. Yeah. See your gift go from one radio station yes. to the next radio yes. station yes. to the television station. Yes. 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 <laughs> I told you, not local, local. No yes. Yes. Uh-huh. In the morning, we go from um, we go from Lee Lane. Delta, mm-hmm. to Dayton, mm-hmm. to Orlando, mm-hmm. to Jacksonville, mm-hmm. to Miami, mm-hmm. to Georgia, mm-hmm. to Texas, what you say? to New York, what you say? to Cal- seeing all of that. Uh-huh. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yeah. the yeah. It's your gift. It's your gift. It's your gift. We got a project here. Somebody mention your name to be the person to run this this crew or to run this site and to make sure everything you okay. And while you exercise your gift, it gives you an opportunity to do what? Mm-hmm. And so guess what? Guess what continues to be carried on forever? Your, 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 your gift. gift. What God had put on the inside of you was not designed to die. I'm saying you know what how long has that tree been over there across the room? Uh, before anybody in here was born. It wasn't designed. It was designed to be out yes, forever. As long as the roots are strong enough to handle it, to not stay connected to the soil. Yes. Yes. So you wow. your gift is meant to stay. Hell, your gift is not designed yes. to die. Mm-hmm. God, y'all stay in y'all stay in mm-hmm. It's about discovery. Yes. It's about discovery. It's about yes. discovery. Yeah. I watch basketball and I remember, and this just came to my mind just looking at you. So I'm share this with you and let God do what he do. And I remember when LeBron James decided to tell me to take my challenge to the Miami Heat. And joined him. And I mean, he took me out. Oh, cut it. Well, anyway, that's beside the point. I'm going to tell you what God said. And they got there, they said, not one, not two, not three. And I just keep hearing business. 
not one, oh, wow. not two, oh, come on. not three. Uh huh. It's time for you to get your hands in it. Uh -huh. You got to get your hands in it. Your hands were made for it, but you would never know it if you don't get your hands in it. Put your hand in it. They might get dirty. They might get some blisters. They might get some, but you need to get your hands in it right now so in the next five or so years you can reap the rewards of the benefits of the pain of the sacrifice of the suffering. You need to get your hands in it. Get your hands in God help me in this place. God said, I, he said, he said, King, Lord, it's easy to bless the poverty. Say, Lord, why is it easy to bless the poverty? Because the poverty don't mind blessing me. No, yeah. my God, uh -huh. Jesus. He said, it's easy. It's easy to bless the poverty. It's, it's easy to bless them. It's easy to bless them. God, I thank you in this place. I thank you in this place. Listen, listen, I need y'all to do me a favor. I just need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a favor. If you know your gift, I need you to focus on your gift. If you don't know your gift, I need you to be honest and say, Lord, I need you to reveal my gift. God, times. Because my prayer, I'm not asking for 30. Tell them, so if you don't want to be in here, you might want to leave now. Huh? I'm not asking for 30. I'm not asking for 60. I'm not even asking for 100. I'm asking for a million for blessing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I'm asking for a million for blessing. So I need you to understand, if I'm asking for a million fold blessing, there's going to be a million fold type of attack. Mm. I'm trying to, I'm, 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 I believe it was um, the Apostle Paul. He was on the ship. And, and he didn't know it, but he was going to be a blessing. He was going to lay hands on the sick. He didn't know, but the ship was in a storm. Mm -hmm. And the people wanted to jump ship. Yes, sir. But Paul told them to stay with the ship. And the Bible lets us know that even though the people who stayed with the ship survived on broken pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, telling you, I'm, I'm telling you because I understand. I, I got to be honest with you. I understand what I asked for. I understand what I asked for. We can do this. We can do this. When I say empowerment was going to be the example of debt freedom, the members of empowerment were going to be the example of debt freedom. And see, I didn't know what I was asking for, mother. <laughs> now I know. I understand. So I'm just telling y'all, I'm telling you, God's going to do some great things. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. Let's stay with the ship. Yeah. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Whatever you do, stay mm -hmm. with the ship. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The ground that you are on is holy ground. Yes. Territory. Yes, yes. He's given you the ability to walk your environment out. God yes, has been at this point. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. I thank you for each and every person under the sound of my voice. God, I thank you for your word on today, God. We, oh God, we, we're going to grow where we sow. you to look on each and every person under the sound of my voice. God, you know what their gift is. You know what their gift is. 
God, you have the key. God, open up their gift. Unlock their gift. Unleash their gift. God, so that it may produce what needs to be produced so that they may have the resources and the will of the whole to accomplish all that you have desired for them to do. God, you said we have not because we ask not. And God, according to your word, I'm asking before this year is over. The manifestation and the revelation of your word will be fulfilled in each and every one of the lives of your beliefs. That because they sow, they are going to reap a million fold. In the name of Jesus. God, as I pray this prayer, God, I'm asking for back pay. I'm asking for back pay. God, I'm asking them to get paid for everything they haven't gotten yet. God, I'm asking for refunds. Yes. God, help me in this place. Oh, God. God, I'm asking for checks in the mail. God, help me in this place. God, do it for your people. Thank you, Lord. Better deals, better opportunities, promotions, raises, entrepreneurial opportunities. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, I ask for uh, for their gift and their, their gifting on the inside to be so big that it cannot stay local. God. It can't stay local. God, not only are you going to bless this ministry to be a global ministry, but God, you're going to bless each and every person who has the power, the courage, the strength to step out on faith and believe and trust in you to go global as well. Please hear me. Please hear me. Somebody needs to see you. Somebody that's not from your block, that's not from your hood, that don't stay across the street from you, that don't work on your job. Somebody needs to see you. Somebody needs to hear you. You're the encouragement that somebody needs. And if you stay local, they'll never get that encouragement. Mm. So God, open up the opportunity. If you're in this place and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you say, Lord, 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 what must I do to be saved? What must I do to enjoy peace, hope, everlasting? Jesus, if you want to know a Savior, they can provide all of the above. 